Excitement, you know, it's something that I've been talking to Coach Howard about for the longest to try to put together an alumni game that uh, one is to get all the fellas back here, you know, supporting Jags, and two, uh, to let us see, you know, everyone from a different perspective of not playing anymore and, you know, just touch base with everyone. So when we got to put it together, I think it was just, you know, a good thing for everyone. What was it like to be back and see some of your old teammates? It's good, you know, a lot of them gained a lot of weight, uh, came back 40 pounds heavier, but uh, it's just tremendous, you know, it's a blessing to see everyone, everyone's still healthy, you know, still uh, still having fun, got, you know, beautiful families to go home to, and uh, just to see them, you know, 10 years or five years later, it's, it's pretty fun. And how did your career at IUBY affect your professional career? Affect it, like in a bad way? How did it lead to I don't know, you know, when I was here, I got to play numerous positions, and I think that's what stood out in the NBA for me is, you know, being able to play the one and the two and guard some big people. Uh, I was fortunate enough to have the chance to play the one and the two, sometime the three here, post up. Uh, so I had different, you know, elements to my game, which actually helped me in the NBA. So I think, you know, choosing a mid-major like this and an upcoming mid-major like this, uh, it really, you know, branched me out to just be a better player because I, I had numerous things that I could achieve. You know, it's... Um, it was pretty neat. It came together very quickly, and as I mentioned uh, with the guys, it really was just a phone call or text or email, and they all said, Coach, sure, I'm in, I'm coming. So then when you all see them here and you're kind of planning and trying to get teams and those things, but when they actually when they were all here, 25, 26, whatever, um, just guys you recruited and coached and to see how that camaraderie was still there, it, it was pretty special. So I thought I was highly impressed with the level of talent. You know, there are a lot of great plays and a lot of made shots. And, uh, really an exciting night. Great way, I think, for our guys to see, you know, some of the names we've used in the recruiting process or pointed out former great players perform. So just a home run of a night. We're very excited. Coach, you, George mentioned that the guys that he played with maybe have come in about 30, 40 pounds heavier than when he played with them. But he said it's great coming back and watching them, see with their families and just be out here. What does it mean to you to, to watch these guys grow up through yeah. your progression? And just talk about that and not only succeeding, you know, in George's case, is in basketball, but just in life. Yeah, and there are a few guys. One of them mentioned, you know, I think he was 17 or 18 when we first met. And, you know, that was half of his life ago. Now he's, you know, 34, 35 with married and kids. Um, uh, yeah, his game was a little different tonight than it was, you know, 15, 16, 17 years ago. But uh, that, that was the fun part, that kind of an unintended consequence, so to speak. You know, you don't know how it's all going to come together. But to see so many great, great players and more importantly, great guys, and to see what they're doing in the community with their family and uh, as parents, as, you know, spouses, uh, great ambassadors of a program for sure. How does that help your guys going into the season? You have a, a, a young group of uh, coming into this year to the, for the team. Um, what do you think it does for the guys to see these guys uh, play out there tonight and have, have so much fun com with the camaraderie with each other? Yeah, I think that was an important, uh, vital part of tonight, just for our guys to see firsthand, A, a lot of names we've used. Uh, hey, you play like this guy, or when we recruited them, you remind us of this guy. Uh, so to see him firsthand and see some of those guys really play well, I do think was an eye-opener. But most importantly, like you said, I think they saw the interaction. That's what a team, that's what a program's about. Uh, it was family, and so from guys that came aboard, you know, 17, 18 years ago to guys that are their first month of college, you know, that 17, 18 year period to see a family grow and mature and blossom uh, made it a special night. It was, it was just That was fun. You know, sometimes you anticipate some guys say, well, yeah, I'll be there, but I'm not going to play. They all wanted to play. Uh, just the competitive juices were definitely flowing. A lot of competitive guys here, and you fill all that together, and uh, the camaraderie spoiling out. It, it uh, was really a fun night. Yes. It's been 29 years since you've been here. How does it feel to be back? Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, I appreciate seeing the campus, you know, all the expansion, all the new buildings. Uh, the only building that I really recognized was Kavanaugh Hall. It still looks somewhat the same. But, uh, uh, you know, I just marvel at all the, the new innovations and everything, and, and all the expansions. And it's just beautiful. And when they called you and invited you, told you about the alumni game, what was your initial response? Oh, I was delighted. I was delighted to come back and, you know, see all the uh, 
the young fellas. I, it wasn't a whole lot of fellas uh, that came that was, you know, played with me. So it was good, really, to see the, the young guys and, and to see, you know, they're still in real good shape and a whole lot of talent. Good to see the talent base, all the talent that's been through IUPUI. That's great. What was your experience like as an IUPUI basketball player? Uh, well, it, it, you know, it was a blessing for me because uh, uh, after graduating, I only had about two offers. I didn't want to play at a, at a junior at the junior college level. Uh, so IUPUI was really only a four-year college. I had a chance to play. And uh, all the support I got academically, uh, it was just, just a blessing for me. It was a blessing. Do you still keep in contact with any of your old teams? I sure do. I, I, uh, I talk with Eric McKay from time to time. Uh, he was probably, and if you go back and look at the record books, he might be all around maybe the best player to ever play. Now you can So I still talk with him. Thank you, Thank you.